uh, find uh, find it uh, in, in English. I, I saw that. Oh, I uh, watched it I before, it. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, uh, I I like it. Uh, I like this. Uh, yeah. mm quality of uh, how they make uh, they uh, painted this this movie it's, I, I don't remember how it uh, the quality of animation actually animation yes animation. I, I like this kind of animation and I like uh, this dragon uh, with uh, his uh, interesting uh, characters when uh, uh -huh. they met and how how uh, uh, this dragon uh, change from a really uh, scared person to uh, like uh, you posted like uh, home home pet uh, home uh, cat i don't know so uh -huh. it's uh, it, 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 it's interesting but i i, I saw it so I, i'm not uh, really in, in, inspiring all oh, how 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 is interesting cartoon i like it and i i saw uh -huh. it before uh -huh. it's it's like good it. cartoon and maybe after uh, several years maybe with my daughter we uh, we will watch it and uh, i hope in english you know, and uh, i hope that she like it like me and uh, i think everybody of us okay <coughs> thank you thank you what about you alessia mm, actually i uh, used to um, watch the film uh, and uh, cartoons with my daughter when she <laughs> when she was uh, younger and uh, when i uh, watched uh, this movie two or three uh, days before i remind uh, the situation when every evening we watched uh, something uh, funny something uh, uh, enjoyable and uh, it was um, interesting feeling <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pleasant feelings and fond yeah. memories right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. uh, okay uh, natasha what about you the same with me i enjoyed it some years ago in russian but this time i had an opportunity to take some words uh, to useful words and maybe to uh, Taking your questions into account, I uh, watched it on a bit uh, deeper level just mm -hmm. to see the psychology and so on, not just uh, to enjoy oh. it, and relax, but uh, with some thoughts. Uh-huh, okay. I mean, uh, yeah, that, that's the idea. You uh, don't just enjoy it like we usually enjoy them, but also have mm -hmm. an opportunity to uh, learn something from it or be even not learn, but pay more attention to some things which we don't mm -hmm. usually notice, right? Uh, I, have, uh, I have chosen this mo movie and this um, cartoon, as I told you, it's one of my favorites. That's why I really, really like it. I've seen it, I don't remember how many times. It's like less than 10, but more than five, let's say. Uh, so uh, I, I really like both this story because the story is interesting. It has adventures, it has development of characters. It has this cute, 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 adorable, dragon which i want to hold and mm, something like that i mean it's really nice and uh, also it has great animation like um you mentioned the ways they created some things like water and these splashes of water and flying i mean it's really if you start paying attention it's really huge like they are really artists and um of course uh, the voiceover i i'm not a huge fan of um the main character's voice but i uh, i mean uh, this boy hiccup uh, i don't remember the name of the character who voiced him um but i liked everything else i liked the dragon's voice i liked how they created i even wrote about it in on facebook that they mm -hmm. used elephant and tiger all, all these sounds to create this impression of this um dragon uh, so i i love this uh movie on different levels Okay, uh, just um, uh, <clears throat> one <clears throat> first question uh, in our, you know, like the, the ones that I sent. Uh, what was uh, the life like for a Viking teenager on work on this island? So what did the life look like? 
uh, life work uh, every I don't know teenager have, but uh, in this situation, <laughs> in this uh, reality, they uh, uh, they thinking about uh, kill a dragon and uh, all of they do it's something around this. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I said, do you agree or not? Because you wanted uh, to say in, in the beginning uh, in this movie. Uh, you are absolutely sure, absolutely right, uh, because uh, yes, uh, this uh, team um, thought about killing, they should uh, um, learn how to uh, kill the dra uh, dragons. They uh, had special lessons uh, for them, and uh, to my mind, uh, they um, weren't uh, as a usual teens for us. Yes, that they didn't enjoy life, uh, they hadn't uh, more fun. But uh, in the, um, at the end, uh, in this movie, uh, situation completely changed. Uh, uh, these children uh, look like uh, usual children. They have pet, they have fun, um, and uh, they look like usual children. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Natasha, what do you think? Are they usual or unusual teenagers? Uh, well, I would like to start with the life on Berg. So the life in that village, Berg, yes, the name, yeah, yeah. was really very tough. In the beginning of the film, it is said that it is uh, the degree of misery, that mm -hmm. this is up to, up to north. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, as far as I understood, it was difficult to survive in that. Uh, so um, people, uh, the community can think only of survival and uh, you know, some uh, nature's conditions were so. But uh, uh, not, um, to... Oh. Plus to these, there were dragons. So, uh, as for uh, teenagers, uh, well, I think that uh, they have something in common. Uh, maybe um, at the at the end of the film, they have something in common with a, an ordinary teenager. Uh, they were revealed. Uh, yes, I agree with Lisa that they are uh, uh, not aggressive part of the, uh, uh, how to say, особистості. Uh, personality. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. Personality. But the other sides uh, were revealed at the end of the film. Okay, okay. So, uh, I, to some extent, I agree with uh, Igor, who said even at the beginning they were, uh, to some extent, like usual teenagers, because uh, they still had fun. Remember uh, when they entered the arena, this training uh, with dragons arena, uh, they were joking, they were like behaving like usual teenagers, making fun of each other, they were uh, bullying, uh, they, uh, bullying Hiccup a little bit, again, like usual teenagers. It's just in mm -hmm. addition to all of that, they also had to fight dragons. So our teenagers go to school to learn mathematics, grammar, you know, stuff like that. And their teenagers go to school to learn how to fight uh, or how to kill dragons, right? So uh, there are things in common with normal teenagers and there are things which are different. And Natasha, thank you for your insight, really. Um, at the beginning, he, when he introduces, he introduces his village, his island, he does say all those things that life was differ, difficult even without dragons. But in addition to that, you still had these pests, as they call them, ridicule, right? Pests, mm -hmm. uh, which made life even harder. So, um, okay, let's move on to the second question. Um, why do you think the adult Vikings believed that a dragon will always, always go for the kill? Why did they believe uh, the dragons may, were aggressive? Maybe, maybe it uh, can be. We can uh, explain it uh, from uh, uh, psychology when you uh, have uh, in your life uh, what you think about life around you. So maybe dragon thinks that everybody uh, want to kill them, and so everybody wants to kill them. <laughs> uh, one of we can think maybe 
uh, I don't would like uh, I, 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 I wouldn't like uh, uh, would not like to kill the dragon so one dragon don't uh, want to kill dragon mm -hmm. and after that like the minos uh, every, every uh, um, all life around all weekend dragon because uh, these weekends change uh, change mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. maybe life something like this uh -huh. so I, the idea is that uh what is inside of you is sort of reflected in the outside world okay great idea thank you uh Olesa, do you have any other versions um because i think because these adults uh, didn't know all these realities they used to live in this condition when uh, dragons um every i don't know every day uh, uh attacked uh, uh villages a uh, village uh, um stole uh, stole uh, meals uh, and uh, burn uh, building and uh, of course uh, they uh, unfortunately kill these people because if uh, um, they um, hadn't killed them these people would have killed this dragon it's alive this, this is surviving survival <laughs> yeah or self-preservation yes some uh, self-preservation self -preservation. Okay. that's why it's it's a usual condition for uh, vikings when dragon uh, attacked and they um, didn't know other reality Okay, so basically what you are saying is that it's a vicious circle, uh, when a dragons try to survive, they hunt for food, and at the same time people try to kill them, and pe uh, they kill people, and it goes on and on and on. Okay, okay, I will write down vicious, VCO's vicious circle. Uh, okay, Natasha, what do you think? Why uh, do people believe that dragon will always kill them? Uh -huh. Well, I uh, think this is much to do with the stereotype. They never stop uh, to think over the problem. So they used uh, uh, to act like their ancestors do, uh, did. Okay. And this is like a tradition. And uh, even when uh, Hiccup read a manual on dragon, <laughs> I was going to mention that, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was not scientific. It was like uh, some horrors, fears collected over the generation of Vikings. Uh -huh. so, uh, so, actually, yeah. stereotype. Yeah. So, this, on, on the one hand, this stereotype is reproduced every generation because of this book, right? Nobody knows if it's true or not, but everybody is taking it into account. Everybody's reading it and everybody's using it. And the book says that dragons are evil, they are bad. He, here is how to kill them so everybody's trying to kill them like that on the other hand you mentioned that nobody stopped to think uh what if it's not true or what if it could be different so yeah uh so these two things are practically is what makes them uh, believe in such things okay thank you uh number three how would you describe hiccup as a person and why does hiccup not fit in uh, by the way, good expression, fit in, be like everybody else. So why isn't he like everybody else? And uh, in what ways is he different? And um, how does it influence his relationships? Anybody wants to talk uh, about uh, Hiccup? Okay. <laughs> Uh, we have a circle uh, and I start. <laughs> yeah, somehow. Uh, I, 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 I yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. I've been waiting for Igor. <laughs> uh, nice. So uh, he uh, was born uh, as not a uh, uh, usual person around him. Uh, he was uh, a little, uh, a little, a, a little, and uh, I saw and noticed one phrase is liter, so she mentioned. Uh, littler, yeah. Lit littler, yes, littler. Mm -hmm. uh, so and uh, he don't want. To, uh, he thinks that he won't uh, doing as every everybody to kill a dragon. But uh, actually, he don't have 
uh, opportunity for it because you don't uh, uh, put uh, uh, some weapons to kill this uh, person. So, and after that, uh, he uh, didn't fit in, uh, and everybody bullying him, and uh, his father. Uh, He's disappointed, yes? He's disappointed, disappointed about mm -hmm. it. He's disappointed about it. So, Same. yes, he have, have a problem, and maybe this cartoon have a good idea for every adult or teenager. Uh, that have a problem when uh, he don't know what uh, for what uh, they live or for what different uh, between other person because uh, many people is different each of us different and in teenager uh, for teenager it's uh, yeah. a really big problem for, for mm -hmm. their opinion and maybe this uh, cartoon a uh, good example for them that if you different don't uh, think or oh, don't, don't uh, mad, um, it doesn't uh, mean it doesn't mean that you are bad or mm -hmm. uh, not good uh, because if you difference so maybe you have something special that uh, others don't have mm -hmm. so. very good excellent thank you Ivor. excellent okay uh, Natasha do you want to say or add something ah uh, me yeah uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, the second was less. <laughs> I know. Okay. I want to change the circle uh, a little yes. bit. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so, uh, well, I believe that uh, Hiccup was uh, a dreamer, a thinker, and an inventor. And uh, in his community, uh, uh, the uh, it was very. Uh, cool uh, to be physically uh, very strong he doesn't have such uh, a, a strong point uh, because he was physically not so strong as his uh, peers but uh, 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 but uh, he actually was capable to uh, even to be a leader without the strong because he was very strong in his thinking uh, he doesn't have fears um, he was not afraid to change uh, even the stereotype of uh, the seven generations of Vikings mm -hmm. and uh, he was uh, fearless to listen to himself not to his father even mm, not f uh, to his uh, um, Smith, he was his uh, like a teacher or trainer, and uh, he was actually. It is very difficult for a teenager, uh, maybe, to break the rule in the good sense of this uh, of this word uh, to um, go against the grain. Yes, pite protesterste, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Is and. Uh, um, uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, he uh, he knew that his father was disappointed, and uh, he actually uh, doesn't follow his father because he is different. He is uh, different from his father in some way, maybe. Uh, I mean, uh, physically. Yes. So, a, a very good, brave person, and. And I really, I, I'm really glad that you mentioned at the very beginning you you, you said that he was uh, also an inventor because it plays a very important role here in this movie mm -hmm. that he his thinking is different, not just his physical appearance, but his thinking mentality is different and uh, he invents things and he, he's the only person in the village who uh, <laughs> creates things, right? Uh, Olesia, maybe uh, you, you want to say something um, about a that? very interesting name Hikup. It Hikup. is Hikup. 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 Like, uh, <laughs> yes, and uh, when we say about physical activities, uh, this process is really annoyed, and uh, everyone uh, wants uh, wants um, to leave this process, and uh, this uh, boy. Uh, like this process because um, never pe uh, people in this village um, 
uh, didn't want to stay uh, with this boy and take care of uh, this boy. And I remember the quote, uh, nobody wanted to go to war, but his father said, uh, yes. everybody who stays will take care of him and everybody went. <laughs> remember yes. that? Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> <laughs> he was very annoying, yes. Yes. <laughs> and troublesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, he changed, yes, and uh, he um, and uh, in the end of uh, this movie, uh, children and uh, people um, respect him. He um, he made uh, these people to respect him. It's uh, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, he deserved. He deserved uh, that. He deserved their respect, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a good point. He started deserving their respect even in the middle of the movie. Remember when he learned something from Toothless? He came mm -hmm. back to the arena and he applied it. And yeah. people started, oh, it works, mm, such a cool boy or something like that. So uh, basically, he became sort of more like them, but uh, it only seemed because at the same time, he was more like himself, right? Uh, yeah. So he was uh, uh, bringing together different mentalities, killing dragons, not killing dragons. And at the end, he entirely changed the whole village. Okay, thank you. Good points, everybody. Thank you. Really cool. Okay, uh, next question. Uh, why do you think so many different cultures have myths and stories about dragons? I mean, in every fairy tale, even Ukrainian ones, there is some kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe they are not called dragons, they kiss them zmi, something like that. And in every mm -hmm. culture, almost, uh, there are dragons. So what is your sort of version or idea about that? Why? Why is it? Natasha, maybe you will start this time. Yes. Um, actually, well, I believe uh, that uh, uh, there is uh, this is a common theme for uh, for different cultures. Maybe uh, there were some uh, reptiles left, and uh, there were some uh, how to say it legends. Uh, they were. Uh, they were transferred from one generation to another or maybe uh, that was the way of uh, um, uh, not figural but some uh, meaning maybe uh, um, like the embodiment of something terrible of killing a choice uh -huh. or something like that uh, yes maybe some evil or Maybe uh -huh. that was figurative meaning. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, any other ideas? I think many, many, many years ago, people uh, didn't know about natural process. For example, when uh, they uh, saw lightning or fire, they couldn't understand what is it. They said, oh, maybe this is a dragon. Uh, maybe this fire or lightning, this is the angry dragon who uh, want uh, um, punished uh, people or something like this. Okay, I mean, uh, basically you're claiming it's people's imagination, uh, they imagine a dragon. Okay, okay. Uh, Igor, do you have any uh, suggestions or ideas? Ah, you, you're busy, okay. Okay, uh, well, I have my own uh, sort of idea. I'm not sure if it's true or not because I haven't researched anything. I think it's the leftover, um, Ostatke, leftover from uh, dinosaurs, Probably people remember something about dinosaurs or scared of them or, you know, like, and in their memory from generation to generation, there was this huge, huge lizard, Yashirka, this huge lizard who was terrible, who was killing them. And I think from one generation to another, it changed, changed, changed. And then, yes, maybe it's uh, like added some fears like lightning and smoke and all of this. Uh, because, I mean, th th this is my version. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Uh, I, I think it has something to do with dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Uh, di 
Dinosaurus. Dinosaurus. Yeah. I think that uh, that uh, that times uh, many years ago people don't have a movie and uh, TV set so they want to, to create something interesting for their child uh, to explain something bad and evil for good uh, behavior all of them. <laughs> like Baba Yaha now at the previous times it was uh, In Ukrainian tradition we have a Tarasik, Tarasik, uh, Tarasik and in that uh -huh. uh, uh plat you have uh, we have a um, uh, zmivna uh, uh -huh. we don't have a dragon because around us we don't see something bad uh -huh. uh, maybe at uh, traditional in um, weekends or some other they uh, saw some uh, something simple and uh, put uh, to this uh, uh, i don't know animal something uh, from uh, fantastic for their child or for good hero. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, thank you. Great answer, great uh, sort of alternative or option. Okay, uh, next question we have is uh, number five. What do Hiccup and Toothless have in common? So he's a boy, a human being, and a, a Toothless is a dragon. Uh, so, but still they have a lot in common, I think. Uh, what do you think do they have in common? Olesia, maybe you will start. You will start this time. Olesia, you heard of one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know. There's the two different kind of uh, person in the end of them, uh, of this movie. Uh, Hoopa, hookup, 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 uh, he, he, hookup, hookup. Uh, have a special uh, leg. And at that moment, uh, I think that they have something in common. But in the beginning, in the start, I, I don't know what, what uh, they mm -hmm. have in a common. Okay, Ac so... Actually, uh, uh, it, it's uh, true, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, good point. So, uh, there is a missing limb. Uh, it's pronounced limb, not limb. Uh, a missing limb. Uh, uh, at the end of the movie, uh, 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 Toothless lost a part of his tail, right, in the beginning. And at the end of the movie, uh, Hiccup lost a, a part of his leg, right, basically his foot. Uh, so, uh, this is one thing that they definitely have in common. But there are some other things, maybe in personality, or maybe, you know, like, do you have anything to add here? What else do they have in common? Uh, one of the things a girl uh, asked uh, Hickel, uh, why, d uh, why did you uh, kill uh, this dragon? And uh, Hickel said, because uh, uh, we, we, we were the same. I was afraid and uh, this dragon was afraid. Uh, and uh, in, in uh, this moment, uh, they maybe it was step, and we understand that uh, they uh, will make friends. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in the, in the, the beginning, uh, he was the special in the, his, his community, and uh, uh, Toothless uh, also was the special in his dragon community. In what way? Can you explain Only that? One. Mm -hmm. uh, he was only one in uh, this uh, uh, night, night fury. Night fury, yeah, that's right. Night mm -hmm. fury, yes. And when uh, all dragons uh, fly together, uh, fight together, um, he was only one, and he flight only one. <laughs> they hadn't any friends. Yeah. And also, uh, Night Fury could do things that other dragons couldn't do. He was the only one who could disappear without trace. Who could, you know, people were really afraid of uh, of it because as uh, they could do things that other dragons couldn't do. So he was special in a positive and negative sense, and like like uh, like the boy, yeah, because he was also special. He was weaker on the one hand, physically weaker, but he had all these ideas and inventions and stuff like that. Okay, great points. Uh, very good, mm -hmm. thank you, Olesia. Natasha, do you have anything to add? Uh, yes, um, I believe they are both very curious about the world and open to new knowledge. Mm -hmm. And especially it is revealed, it was revealed when they started training, uh, because uh, uh, before that fact that they were good, um, 
uh, actually they became uh, uh, a unit they became uh, a unit i would say a unit when they uh, were in the air at the end of the film they were like a one unit but before that uh, there was a training and uh, uh, actually um, they were becoming brave gradually they were like uh, uh, and uh, they uh, match each other i mean that uh, if uh, dragon uh, didn't uh, so he wouldn't support uh, hiccup if he didn't want uh, and he wasn't brave and he didn't he was for example lazy or something of the kind so uh, they were uh, they were both a bit risky maybe and they were uh, they um, understood each other even without a word and i believe they were both kind kind-hearted yeah thank you <laughs> very good kindness is very important in this movie and to the character of bo of, of main characters uh, both uh, hiccup and uh toothless uh because without that kindness they wouldn't be able to connect first of all yes you are right secondly a uh, very good point you made about uh each of them encouraging the other one to become better mm -hmm. Uh, so if uh, if Hiccup was afraid, Toothless would try to nudge him in the correct direction to make him braver. Or if uh, uh, the dragon did want to do something, Hiccup was like, let's do that, let's do that. So basically, they, both of them were sort of making each other better. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, the next question is, uh, how does helping in training with a dragon change Hiccup? So he started as one kind of person. I mean, he's the same kind of person, but he's a little bit different. How is he different at the end from what he was at the beginning? And how does training the dragon or working with the dragon, um, uh, what role did it play in this change? He overcame his fears and uh, he uh, become he became a uh, self confident mm -hmm. and maybe a uh, self respect is better yes He's yes mm -hmm. uh, do you remember at the beginning mm -hmm. of the movie he was trying so hard to be like everybody else like uh, i want to kill a dragon he he didn't somebody mm -hmm. said already that he didn't actually want but he said it because everybody else wanted to kill a dragon and uh, he wanted so much to earn the respect of his father to deserve that respect and his father was always disappointed at the end of the movie he he stopped caring about what others think and he started caring about uh, the dragon and about what is right and what is wrong. And other people started respecting him because of that. So this, I, for me at least, this was the biggest change. He finally understood what he is, who he is, what he wants. And because of that, he had this self-respect and he had this self-confidence. Because he finally understood his place in the world, in his small world. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was... Uh, Girls, I, I, I am agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, do I talk too much? <laughs> yes, I, I, I agree with you. Okay, okay. Uh, so, the next question. At the end of the film, each teenager has a dragon. In what way does each dragon rider match their dragon? They are sort of very similar, right? Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Do you want to talk a little bit about how each rider matches their dragon? Olesia, we were I asking like that when an uh, animator, uh, when an animator created this dragon kind of dragon kind of uh, teenagers, they in the start choose uh, which one uh, <laughs> to compare in the end of this uh, dragon because when you watch it, we see that uh, some kind of dragon is the same as uh, this teenager. A big fat uh, teenager with big fat dragon. Yeah. Who uh, actually? Uh, Two-headed. Yes. Two-headed uh, dragon. Yes, two, -headed two, -headed, uh, two brother or sister. I don't know mm -hmm. who yeah. have uh, mm -hmm. a problem all, all the time and maybe uh, is been in a, uh, in the start of the start of this movie. Thank Great. you. Good point. Mm -hmm. 
So even physically, uh, when they designed these pictures, they physically matched the dragon to their riders, right? Physically. But uh, is it only physical or is it also about their characters? Dragons and their riders. Yes. Characters also because, uh, for example, two had a dragon and twins. Twins always um, argue, argue, yeah, argue or quarrel. And, mm -hmm. and uh, this uh, two had dragons always uh, argued. Oh, yeah, 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 very good. Okay, uh, if, Natasha, do you have anything to add here? No, okay, mm -hmm. good. Moving on. So the next question is. At least two characters in the film were a prosthetic, right? Um, Protest, right? Mm -hmm. And um, how did they lose their limbs? Do you remember the story? And uh, do these prosthetics prevent them from leading a normal life, or it's not um, an obstacle? So, can you speak a little bit about that prosthetics? Yes, the first person uh, uh, who had uh, 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 who was without a limb was uh, the trainer of or instructor of uh, Hika. Gobbler. His name was Gobbler, right? Mm -hmm. Gobbler, Gobbler. He was a smith, and uh, actually, uh, it didn't prevent him from uh, leading a life. Maybe he couldn't be a warrior. Uh, a very um, very special warrior, but he was good at uh, doing his job, uh, uh, making axes and so on. And uh, he was actually uh, uh, he was a trainer, and he liked the second job too. He enjoyed it, and especially uh, I remember uh, that uh, uh, when he. Uh, brought uh, uh, teenagers into that uh, training, so-called training room <laughs> with dragons. He even uh, has some uh, opportunity to use his hook. Uh, so uh, uh -huh. when a dragon attacked Hiccup, uh -huh. he, uh -huh. he managed to prevent uh, uh, bad scenes uh, using uh -huh. his hook and uh, taking away the dragon so he even didn't think that he had uh, something wrong with his leg or, or his arm actually and uh, he so Do you remember and the second sorry mm -hmm. uh, i didn't mean to interrupt you no. Mm -hmm. uh, do you and remember the, the story how he lost it, uh, how he lost them, because he, he, he lost two limbs, right, a leg and an uh, arm. Um, he told that story, do you remember? Mm -hmm. yes. Do you want to, to say? Uh, so uh, he, is, he said to, to his teenagers that uh, um, a dragon uh, had eaten. Uh, yeah. And yeah. He said how tasty it was, and then the second dragon came. Uh -huh. So yeah, for for that culture, it was normal for a dragon to you know to uh, to lose a limb. Let's say to lose a limb to a dragon, right? And he used that story to ins not to inspire them, but to nudge them, to encourage them to do something, to to encourage them to action, right? Uh, so he he was a good teacher <laughs> like that. What about uh, what about Hiccup? Uh, I mean, he lost his limb at the very end, so we are not sure what kind of life he will have and how he behaves, etc. But a little bit we still see. So does um, his prosthetic make him worse or make him better or it, it doesn't change anything what would you say it doesn't change anything okay why do you think so because we saw, we saw how uh, he fly on the dragon and uh, everybody happy and uh, not, not, not everything uh, not something changed because uh, maybe in the, their life and their uh, world everybody can uh, lose uh, arms or legs and it's uh, don't uh, have a really big uh, influence I I impact here uh, there is no big impact, big impact uh, on, on the their life mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they uh, can uh, uh, put some uh, 
uh, other things. So maybe it's the, in this plot, uh, uh, we, we, it's a, a little uh, um, a point for everybody of us that around us we have person who don't have uh, something that we have as usual. Yeah. Uh, uh, but they don't have uh, so changed because okay. in this uh, movie nothing not, nothing uh, changed and uh, have some real big input that uh, this person mm -hmm. cannot do in his usual life as other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm very glad you mentioned that because actually. Uh, if you if you pay attention, you will notice that their animation films they have always they have these lessons for people who watch, especially for children. They are basically kind and they teach. For example, this um, episode, I mean, this losing limbs, these prosthetics, they teach children that it's uh, if you are not if you don't have something like other people have as other people have, uh, it doesn't mean that you are worse. It, you if you if you train if you want you can still do things in life so uh, instead of being an invalid you can still uh, be a leader etc so I, I think it's a great point okay we have um, we have the last question here it was optional and we don't have to discuss it because it it's very peculiar it's very specific so what features of animation here uh, make both the characters and created world believable so basically drawing what was so special in the drawing that you thought ah oh, it's so well done it's so cool i i really like it did you ever you know have this feeling during the movie like i can't believe it's not real i i i, I believe that they are real no i we can't hear you i have not not noticed about oh. it i i don't know what what's the answer on this question Oh, okay, I mean it's optional. I, I don't have an answer on this question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I only saw. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, one of them I mentioned in the group. Remember this beautiful mistake, as I said, uh, when there was a mistake uh, when the, the designer or I don't know animators when they were drawing this um, cartoon, uh, they made a mistake with the hesitation hesitation uh, when he was trying to touch him the first time and there was a small pause and it wasn't supposed to happen it was su supposed to happen smoothly but uh, because of the computer mistake there was this pause and they decided the uh, director decided to leave it as it is because it looked great uh, it, it added something to the movie and I think it really works fine uh, that one or two seconds. Uh, also, I liked, um, because I prepared this question and then I went back and watched the movie again to see some interesting points. I liked in the scene when he was learning to fly, how cool they expressed the feeling of flying. You know, like uh, the, I, I almost feel like I'm flying. So basically, I don't know, they probably uh, use some kind of drone. So I don't know how to capture these moments, the aerodynamic um, of, of showing it on screen. And uh, another cool point, I think, was when they uh, showed the water, because uh, I heard, I'm not sure, but I heard that it's really difficult in animation to produce realistic water, because it's very tricky, it's very difficult. And I think they, great, they did a great job, especially remember when uh, Hiccup and the dragon were sinking in the sea because he was uh, tied to the ship and the ship was sinking and uh, Hiccup was trying to save him and uh, he couldn't re release him and uh, they were both going to drown probably. But then Stoic, the father, he jumped in, he took uh, his son first and he put it out, out of the water and then he jumped again to take uh, the dragon. And in that short scene, we can see when he gets on top uh, of the water, these uh, splashes of water, brisky. And they look so realistic, at least for me, I, I thought mm, that that's well done. That's really cool. So uh, I, I really like this kind of like, wow, they did it, you know. Um, oh. I, I just love this. I just love this movie. I can talk about it. Okay. Uh, thank you so much about this uh, 
for, for this uh, discussion. Your insights are really cool. I, I didn't even expect, I mean, uh, I had these ideas, but some of your ideas are really, really cool. Uh, I'm going to take a screenshot of the chat because when I save the video, the, chats is, uh, the chat is not, just a second. The chat is not usually saved, so I will just make a screenshot and then share it in, uh, in the group or maybe in the email. Um, just in case. I will be back soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, so if um, if you have some suggestions or questions or impressions about the movie, you're welcome to share. We still have a little bit of time so we can discuss those. No? Tanya, thank you for your service. Thank you for your club. I, 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 actually, I uh, this night... Uh, uh, read it everything that you post in uh, group uh, about movie and uh, I saw the, how uh, interesting uh, information uh, interesting tasks uh, thank you for your time uh, for our uh, English <laughs> thank you so much for saying that because uh, yes it really helps me to create these kind of things when I know that somebody is reading them and taking something from them. Because sometimes I have this feeling like I'm creating, nobody's reading them and that's all. But uh, you mentioning that, I, I, I really, really appreciate it. Because actually, yes, uh, when I create it, I think that it, it can be very useful. When you read it, it's small, but there are some still, it's even more useful than watching the movie in English. I mean, you can watch the movie in Russian, but still read this post and take something useful, some vocabulary, some um, phrases, and especially if you want to activate it, you can, uh, you know, comment to it, answer questions, and then it, you will remember it even better. So, uh, yes, uh, participating in the group can be really beneficial. So, thank you so much for mentioning that. I, I feel I feel better about <laughs> about thank doing you. that. Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, so, our next movie is going to be a historical movie. It's based on a historical figure. I'm not sure how accurate it is you know uh, because i i haven't read much about king uh henry v uh, henry v uh, i i don't really know much about him i know that uh shakespeare wrote a special tragedy about him uh i mean maybe not a tragedy i don't know what the genre is but there is a special play by uh, shakespeare but this one is not based on shakespeare it's a totally like it's called the king Karol. It's pretty recent. I think it was done, it was released in, um, nine, uh, in 2019. The main actor is one of the young actors. Uh, I don't remember his name because it sounds French, uh, but uh, I think his acting was pretty good. Um, and if you don't know anything about that king, I think it would be interesting for you, you know, from the historical point of view, like if you like a little bit, if you like history, it can be interesting just to watch it and see how life was in that century, what people, what war, what, what war is, were happening and how people behaved and stuff like that. And um, I will, I will watch it again. I will make the questions and we'll, hopefully you will like the movie and we'll discuss it. So I will be looking forward to seeing all of you next uh, time in two weeks. And uh, I hope you will like the movie. Thank you. Thank you for spending this hour with me. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you again, maybe in the group, maybe in the next uh, hangout and have a nice weekend. Okay. Thank you. Same to you. Same to you. Bye. 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 Bye.